Hi there, Vitalza Savage Queen. I have both Moxie and Polaris on the wheel. Let's see who the wheel picks. Polaris is a very dominant female. Let's get this show on the road. The reason why Moxie and Polaris was both on a wheel was because the fact that they both had three votes. Let the great saga begin. Let's see if Polaris can keep her mother's iron will around its inhabitants. I wonder how well she has inherited by her parents or great parents. It sounds like she has a mixture of both her parents' howls. Let's test her hunting skills. Let's see what she has learned from her parents. It seems that she has learned to growl first before approaching me. I wonder who she learned that from. She is mock biting. I wonder who she learned this from. Now she is trying to make chaos by taunting the elk. Now she has created chaos. Now she is going to target an elk. But which one should she target first? She has noticed the calf and has made her selection. She sits back and waits, as patience is key in a hunt. She has went in too early, and now it may cost her her life. Now that the mother is involved, she must think. And she thinks that she should create chaos some more to get her prey. She has earned a major injury for not being careful. Now that she has taken down her prey, 
she has to chase off or scare off the mother elk in order to feed. She has learned well from her parents. Now that she has taken down her first prey on her own, she has to now avoid the Wapiti's pack in order to not get killed or mauled. She has now healed her major injury, which is her leg. She already healed her minor injury, which was her jaw. She uses her ears and her eyes due to the fact that she hears the elk nearby. She tries to attenuate the elk that are in a bunch to see if they will yield. She noticed a lone cow elk by herself in between the spike and the bull elk. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.